today I'm continuing on my painting and I'm going to work on the background a little bit more. Um, one of the things that you want to make sure that you do is mix, really mix the colors and lay them down. And the, this background is really blurry so eventually I'm going to really go over it with a clean dry brush. So right now it's just about chunking in these shapes. So you can blend it as much or as little as you want to do. If you want to blend it a lot, then you will continuously brush over it. If you want it to be a little bit sharper, you may only need to brush over just a little bit. So I'm just chunking in kind of the values right now. And even when doing this, you want to be creative with the amount of color that you lay down. Be careful with green. Um, it can look very fake. A good way to kind of tone that down is to use a little bit of orange. But also when mixing your green, uh, sometimes the tube of green uh, can be good to use, but you want to just use a little bit of it and also add some blues and yellows. And sometimes you're just going to use the green that you mix with blue and yellow for your very dark areas. It will make a really dark green. And then you can add a little bit of white if you want it to be lighter. If you want it to be more of a yellow green, you can add some more yellow. You can also use a lot of like purples and things in the background. One of the things that you want to do with your backgrounds no matter what is you want to bring a lot of the same colors that you're using in the foreground. We're using a lot of colors throughout this whole page so that really won't be a problem but you don't want to introduce completely new colors. If you do introduce a completely new color then you want to also bring it into your foreground. So if you bring something new into the background, make sure you bring that into the foreground as well. You may need to take a small brush and add a little bit of cast shadow or definition around the edge of your flower or whatever it is that you are painting. Um, that's important. Uh, you don't want there to be little white dots left around. So now I'm like kind of taking a bigger brush and then I'm really brushing it. Now, if I want it to not brush as much together, I need to wipe my brush often. The more I wipe the brush, the less it will kind of blend in together. But then I can still come in and add a little bit more over top of that and work that into it as well. Continue to look for shapes of lights and darks, even in your background and add a little bit of color. You can still add more color into it. Look to see where you think it needs a little bit more color. Maybe it needs a little boost of bright so you add a little bit of orange. Think about what would make this a stronger painting and start to add in color and blend it. Be careful uh, to make sure that you aren't over blending and make sure to bring back in whites and then blend it as much as you need to. If you want it to be really smooth then take that clean dry brush and really smooth over it. 